Hello, today we're going to talk about UX design in Brazil. Uh, my name is Octavia. I'm a UX researcher and I work for Ferfection and we do uh, UX research. So when we talk about um, UX design in another country, we're talking about localization. Localization, it's the fact uh, of adapting an interface to a country. So it goes beyond the translation, uh, but it's also take into account the needs and the demand of the local population to be able to adapt the interface to that specific population. And today we're gonna talk about Brazilian. So it's very important to understand the difference uh, uh, between two culture and uh, that one country has its own culture here, for example, we can see that uh, in the United Kingdom and in Brazil, the cultures are very different. For example, the power distance, it's uh, lower for the United Kingdom and higher for the Brazil. However, about the uh, term orientation, it's almost similar for Brazil and the UK. So it's very important to know uh, how is the culture of one country to adapt the interface to that specific country. This is another example to show that uh, culture are very different in, from uh, different countries. So for example, in the way of communicating in Brazil, we can see in this graph that the Brazilian are more expressive than, the, uh, than the, in the UK, but it's about similar uh, in terms of confrontation. In this presentation about UX design in Brazil, we're going to see three parts. The first one is the social network revolution, then the banking revolution, and to finish the interfaces. First part, social network revolution. So about communication. Here, uh, we can see that in Brazil, sorry, uh, it's a huge country. It's around 35 times larger than the United Kingdom. So it's a very, very big country. And it's so uh, important that there are four different time zones. From east to west, there are two hours different. Also, what is interesting, it's like it expand the um, calling or sending message can be very expensive. So they have a different um, forfeit. For example, if you send a message or you call in another region, it can cost more. And sometimes in the same region, if you call or send a message to another operator than yours, it can also cost extra money. So it's very complex and uh, communicating can be really expensive. Another part of the culture is the imp importance of the street lifestyle. So we know uh, that the Brazilian like to go in the street and they have a lot of outdoor festivities. And one of the most famous is the carnival. It's a four day long event and people go in the street to dance, to sing, to perform. It's very famous. It's very colorful and joyful. And uh, Brazilian gather all together uh, for this national event. So the street has a very important uh, place in Brazilian culture and everybody meet in the street outside. Here, what we can see, it's uh, among all the online activities in the top four in Brazil, three are about communicating. So when I say communicating, I'm talking about sending message, uh, calling someone, sending videos, sending photo. And we can see that this is a um, very important activity in Brazil. And most of the Brazilians, they use WhatsApp to communicate. So it's a very, very, very famous social network. It's the third most used social network in Brazil. And on a global scale, it's the largest market out of Asia. So most of the Brazilian use WhatsApp because it's also a way to communicate uh, in a cheaper way than the normal mobile plans. As I said before, sometimes the mobile plans can be very expensive. And as we saw, the, the country is very big. So there are Brazilian uh, in different cities and they want to communicate and sometimes it can be very expensive. That's why they try to use WhatsApp to reduce the cost. 
some mobile plans also uh, offer unlimited WhatsApp use. So it's cheaper to use uh, WhatsApp to communicate. And as we saw, this is the very main, this is the main activity in Brazil. Uh, also, WhatsApp is used to uh, find the, your friends or your relative when you are in the street with the location. So it's important to have WhatsApp, especially during the festivities in the street, because sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to find your relatives when there are many people in the street. And uh, Brazilians use WhatsApp a lot and it's so famous that WhatsApp developed a WhatsApp businesses. Uh, that permits the companies to use WhatsApp to communicate with their clients too. So the way of communicating it's uh, now on WhatsApp for everybody. And people can use WhatsApp to talk and communicate with their relative, their friend and family, but also to communicate with the companies. For example, to order medicine or to order food, um, Brazilian can use WhatsApp and send a message directly to a pharmacy or to a supermarket. So with WhatsApp business, uh, people can talk to any businesses, any companies. Now about image. So here in Brazil, we can see that uh, the population is unique and very diverse because there are a lot of uh, immigrant cultures from many countries, from Japan, Germany, Lebanon, or China, and that made the Brazilian population unique. Also, uh, about the image, what is interesting in Brazil is that beauty is a right. Beauty has this, uh, Brazil, sorry, has the second highest rate of plastic surgery in the world. And this is interesting because the government try to help and support people that want to do plastic surgery. For example, insurance covers several plastic surgeries, such as mammaplasty in public hospital. Why? Because uh, some Brazilians think that to have a good uh, appearances represents success. So in that order, the country really wants its people to look good and to show that they, they succeed. So the image is very important. And this confirmed the success of Instagram in Brazil. Of course, Instagram, it's a social network that is based on the image. And that is why in Brazil, Instagram is very popular. It is the third largest Instagram audiences just behind India and the United States. So they use Instagram, uh, of course, to post some photo, to look at photo, but also to shop through Instagram shop. Uh, they can use WhatsApp, um, sorry, they can use Instagram to communicate directly with the company and to, to buy some product. For example, at Fairprection, we work with uh, Gerardo. Gerardo is our uh, software developer and uh, he lives in Brazil. And he said that to buy his coffee, he, he follow his uh, coffee maker around the corner and he send uh, them a message directly and they can personalize his own coffee. And when it's ready, the, um, the coffee maker just send him a message on Instagram and he can just pick it up whenever he wants. So Instagram, it's also used to shop and uh, it's really good because through this social network, it's possible to have beautiful image of the product and it's really good whenever you want to do some shopping. So what we saw here is through WhatsApp and uh, Instagram, social network is very important and has a huge impact in Brazil. It's very interesting for companies that want to target and reach their audience in Brazil to do some partnership and to communicate a lot on social network. Uh, as we saw, Instagram has a, a very big popularity there and they have influencer. Influencer that have so much impact that we call them the mega influencer. And they have a very, very important audiences. So for brands that want to uh, reach their target, it can be interesting to do a partnership with Mega Influencer too. 
also now about communities. There is a important gaming community through Facebook and YouTube in Brazil. This community, it's about eSport and uh, they are very engaged and they share a lot through Facebook and YouTube. For example, the company Loud that does a lot of eSport had the first 1 billion views on YouTube in the world. And this video was about a video game. So it showed the impact of a video on a YouTube in that community. Uh, Brazilian community try to comment, share a lot through these two social networks. As I said before, uh, the, there are mega influencers in Brazil that has a very important impact in Brazil whenever they communicate. That is why the company Loud often do some um, content with these mega influencer on their own channel, on Loud channel, but also this mega influencer does some content on their own channel, such as YouTube, Instagram, even Twitter. And that is why Loud became so famous. Now about the second part, banking revolution, mobile first. So if we look at the internet accessibility in Brazil, we can see that uh, there are more and more internet. For the first uh, social class, so the, the richer, the class A, we can see on the graph that most of them already had uh, internet for a long time. But what we can see on this graph is that this gap between the richer and the, the least is becoming less and less important. So now mm, the most of the Brazilians try to have uh, internet connection, but still 30% uh, of the Brazilian uh, doesn't have internet connection yet. What is important also is that is only 5% of the population that speak English. So if there is um, a new website or new application in Brazil, it has to be Portuguese. Today, we can see also that most of the Brazilian has a smartphone or a phone, whereas uh, less than half of the population has a computer or a smart TV. So it shows that it has to be mobile first in Brazil, which means most of the Brazilian will navigate on their smartphone, on the website, on their smartphone. So website has to be responsive. Also, it means that Brazilian will tend to use more application that to go on the website. Brazil has one of the biggest application conception and they spend about 4.8 hours per day on their phone. This is very important because there are some companies that, do, that don't have any website in Brazil, but they do have an application and they communicate only on their application. So this is very important. Also, there are some companies that have a website, but with no content, only a link to say, download our application or a redirection um, link to download the application. So it's good to remember that in Brazil, if you wanna communicate uh, with Brazilian, if you wanna share content, you can go through social network, but also uh, through an application. The payment possibilities. We can see that uh, since the banking application allow Brazilian to pay with their mobile device, the transaction increased more than 70%, which means uh, now the Brazilian like to pay and to do some money transfer through the application. It's very common and we can see on this graph that it became more and more important over the year. But for today, since 2020, there was a new way that uh, arrived in Brazil, that is PIX. PIX, it's an electronic payment system in Brazil, and it's very secure. It's created by the Central Bank of Brazil, and it permits the Brazilian to do any transfer money from one person to another, from one company to another, from one person to a company or a company to a person. 
And it's very secure, it's very safe, it's very practical. They can do this transfer whenever they want, wherever they want. And now that it's so famous, almost every website have a PIX to be able to, for the Brazilian to pay. You can also ask money to your friends or to a company if, if they own you money. So you can have a link with PIX and it send the message to that person. And that person can scan the, the QR code and the mon and you will receive the money. So nowadays, every website or application should be able to have the PIC system to allow Brazilian to pay through it. And we saw that the transfer of money on mobile, it's so important that WhatsApp again, because it's so famous in Brazil, uh, developed through WhatsApp business, as we saw, WhatsApp Pay. WhatsApp Pay allows Brazilian to pay directly through WhatsApp. So now with WhatsApp, you can communicate, but you can also pay. You can pay to your friends on WhatsApp, and you can also pay to a company. We can see here that on the website, there is a link, a CTA that where you can click to pay directly your product through WhatsApp Pay. And last part, the interfaces. Navigation. A few uh, numbers about illiteracy. So we can see that almost 7% of the population was still illiterate in 2018. So it's not very equal uh, depending the region in Brazil. And it means that this part of the population cannot read and write, which make it difficult for them to understand their right or their financial perspective. So, uh, uh, because of that, most of the website has uh, are more visual. They use more icons in the menu, and that permits the, the illiterate person to navigate without reading. They can see through the symbol, through the icon, where to click. And for example, we can see here on McDonald's in Brazil, like every subcategory of the menu has a photo on an icon. So the interface are uh, very illustrated and very visual. Here is another example with Shopee. Shopee is the most downloaded shopping application and overall the third most downloaded free application in Brazil. Uh, this platform from, uh, has two menus with icons and photos in Brazil. Here we can compare the Shopee website in Brazil. We can see there are two bar of menu with many icons. And in the French version, there is only one bar with menu and uh, also with, uh, with the icons. And the image is very important that in Brazil, we can see it's the second country in the world just behind Mexico that use the image recognition tool. So they don't have to, for, to make a research to write directly a word, but they can use their mobile to, uh, to do to the camera and use the camera to do the image recognition to do a uh, research. So the, the role of the images in Brazil is very important. Second part, the colors. This past year, we saw that there were several protests in the street uh, because of the president. And uh, some of the Brazilians were against, some of them were su support the presidents. And the one that supports the president decided to wear the national soccer jersey, which has the same color of their flag. So mainly uh, green and yellow. And there were they are really recognizable uh, when they do the protest because of that t-shirt. So nowadays, this color, yellow and green, are a little bit connoted and represent the support of the president. So for uh, companies that don't want to be involved in any political uh, issue, it's better to avoid yellow and green and to choose some more uh, reddish color because reddish is popular and it's a nice and passionate color in Brazil or any other color such as blue. But we can see that uh, there are more applications that use reddish color uh, compared to uh, the in the UK, for example. So to conclude, what we can remember 
is three things. First one is the social network. The social networks are very important in Brazil. Uh, WhatsApp to communicate to your relatives, but also to the companies. Instagram to share some product images and also to buy this product. Facebook and YouTube to be part of the community. Second uh, point is the money transfer and the payment. Most of the Brazilians like to pay through their mobile. Most of the Brazil Brazilian has a mobile and they navigate and go on application. It's very important for a website to have a way uh, of uh, to be able to uh, sell their product directly to this application or website through Pix uh, for two years because every Brazilian use Pix now. And last part, the interfaces. We can see that most of the interface are more visual, has a lot of icons in the menu to help the navigation and guide the Brazilian. And also it's better to avoid the color green and yellow um, since the manifest, manifestation protestation in the street and better to go on the reddish color. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. If you have any comment, any question, feel free to send us a message.